G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're back in our Clock Tower series coming into the morning of day 3. I'm still bunking up and now rugged up as the gods are mad at me upstairs up in the top of my clock tower because it's really the only way that I could ever possibly survive the night. If I just cower up here and suck my thumb and hope for the best, then whatever spawns down the bottom will usually just walk on by those impromptu gates that I built at the entryways to my little court. Oh, God, don't do that. At the little courtyard entries. Uh, that's keeping most of the wanderers out, but overnight I did see a cheeky wandering horde go by so i don't want to get too brazen by getting out there and putting my spikes to the test but today i want to try and push to get myself a forge i know that i need i need clay soul and i need duct tape the rest of the stuff that i already have i want to get one of those going because i want my baseball bat but i think the best way to do that is going to be for me to head back out to jen get maybe a buried supplies quest so i have a reason to go and dig up some turf bring that home, forge some iron, get a better bat, and hopefully murder some zombies even better than we did before. I just gotta wait till dawn though, because it's not a good time to be outside. In fact, even just being up here undercover, I'm still getting wet with fright. So I have my football helmet. Didn't I have... Where are you? There you are. There you bloody arm. Grab you, modify you, chuck it in my helmet light mod so I can now see a little bit better. The downside is that it will... Uh oh, it will uh, make a lot more Muppets know where I am at all times. Speaking of, we're ready to go already. Sit you down. I can't see anyone else on any of the walls, but can't take that for granted. Reach through, sort you out. Anyone else? Anyone else? I can hear someone. I can hear someone. Get up on top of the wall. There's likely going to be several clowns around. Oh, I saw a shadow of death. Yep, okay, there's a dog around here as well. All right, well, hopefully my ball's set up to the test then, because at the moment, I'm pucking a little bit. I'm not feeling especially confident. Oh, God, where else are they coming from? There's one trapped over there in the fencing, but they're still trundling over and causing me some issues. No, wait for your head to come back in the middle. There we go. I did actually bring some wood and stone with me with the anticipation of making myself a, uh, a shovel when I do get some plant fibers about me. In fact, I can do that right now. Let's grab you and you. Make myself a cheeky shove. Thank you very much. I've got one wood to try and repair you with. It's not much, but it's something. Oh, man. Most of my spikes are gone. Oh... Stop it, you little shadow of death. Every time I see a glimmer of your fox eared head, I get a little bit scared. Well, I can't stand here and wait for Pawfoot over here to figure out what he wants to do. Bond's about level five, got a skill point to spend. That was a nice clean kill as well. Uh, that point is going to go straight into not that because there's nothing to put you into. Actually... Maybe minus 69, I'll make myself a better quality shovel and, uh, you know, a stone axe and that kind of stuff as well. Or, Lucky Looter. I would like to get some pretty good gubs as soon as possible. And Lucky Looter is normally where I go to for that. Uh, actually, no. I'll go cardio. Stamina. G'day, bud. Stamina is everything at the moment. So the more stamina I can get, the better off I'll be. Oi! Get off me bloody walls. You need to make your way to a gate, please. But stripper titties over here. I don't remember hiring you. Couldn't afford you if I did. Oh, Wolfie Boy was trying to eat someone trapped inside the building. All right, fair enough then. But I am going to eat the wolf instead. Keep your eye on your six, Josh. Make sure no one's sneaking up on you at the worst of times. All right, we're good. Oh, yep. Here comes the couple. Of them. That's fine. Just hightail it back to my little bunker over here. So far, it's working out reasonably so well. Though, when it goes tits up, oh boy, is it going to be bad. Oh, yep. Okay, here comes a couple of friends. Arlene, get over here and taste my club. Oh, God. Ow. Ow, Arlene. Ow. Please stop. Jeez, do you bloody die already? All right, apparently some sparks on the outside are bad for security because even though it's stuck in the bottom of her foot, she used it as a ladder to get up and over the wall. All right, this uh, this is posing some issues. Sometimes the zombies are climbing up onto the spikes and getting over the wall. It's now raining again as well, so my reprieve in the sunshine went away heckin' quickly. All right, I just gotta go. I just gotta go. Look, it's already almost 6 a.m. I gotta go and see my girl Jen and get a job for her. 
I can't be standing around bashing noggins all bloody day. I'll never get anything done. I've got my shovel now, though. Grab you. I've got some meat and stuff on me as well. I'll drop them off later. Oh, man. Living in the city has its challenges, and most of it's just because there's so many zombies there. Trying to just make sure that I'm cruising about with my machine gun out, because it's really my only hope of staying alive. Like, the shotgun, the bow, and the club and stuff are great, but if, like, a wolf or a die wolf or a bear or something shows up on me when I'm traipsing about in the trees, I mean, I'm not even sure the machine gun will save me from that, but at least I feel like I have some sort of hope just firing some lead into whatever's trying to eat me and hoping for the bloody best. Where's Jen? That way. So I should say as well... I'm trying to push jobs for Jen as quickly as I can because that's going to be the easiest way for me to get some sort of transport. Transport is everything, especially early game. So if I can satisfy Jen, which would be a first for me, but if I can, she'll give me a bike and then I can start riding something around town <laughs> and disappoint something else. But that's the dream. That's what I want to get done. Any hunting? Nope, still none. That's all right. I'm holding on to my one honey I have. Like, it's the be-all and end-all of everything. Can't let me down now. I've got some sticky bee stuff. You can see Jenny's compound. Apparently, I'm 30%-ish wet, which I feel like is an inaccuracy of the measuring equipment. But whatever. Let's not go into how soggy I actually am. Jen, how are ya? It's already been a bit of a morning. You again. I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. Damn bloody straight, Jenny girl. I'm head over heels for you. Um, do you have... Well, the buried supplies with what I actually wanted from you. The other ones are about the same distance away, yeah. so... Uh, yeah, nah, easy peasy. I'll, nice I'll head up there and I'll dig that up like I dig you. Nice and quick, Josh. Nice and quick. Charming words aside, because you don't know what you're doing. Let's get out there fast. The only way to truly appease Jen is actions, not flowery language. Huh. I mean, I suppose that's always an option. That is the barn where- Ooh, there's a Piggly Winks. That is the barn where you normally build your barn base. I was gonna let you live, but apparently boars are just super aggressive now. So if I see ya, I'm gonna have to murder ya and put you between some tomato and lettuce and devour you like you would have me. Nice. More bacon for me. Still need some recipes to make some shit at home, but I can deal with that later. I'll take you. Ooh, and some cobble as well. Cobble will actually be very, very handy. The stronger I can make my walls, clearly the better off I'm going to be. Look at that. Just like hanging out the loot to dry, luring me in. It's like a lure bag in a hold on. It's like, hey, hey, want some easy loot? Just like straddle the ladder and get up here. and It'll make all your wildest dreams come true. But I've been playing Seven Days to Die too long to know that that's going to be anything other than a nightmare for me. That's not going to go well for me at all. Speaking of, there you are. I could hear the pitter-patter of footsteps on the grass. Come on. A ScoMo died in one swing before. You're putting up more of a challenge. But in fairness, ScoMo's got no spine anyway. He's got less spine than a jellyfish. Here we go. Here's the joint. The new method of activating the buried supplies rather than just stumbling upon the circle. Uh, oh, there's someone out there. That's, oh, uh, yep, yeah, you just figured out where I was. That's okay. Well, while you're making your way over here, I'll get cracking on this. Still don't know what the the new meta of Buried Supplies quests are. It used to be the southwest corner. Before that, it was the hinge on the map. But now, who knows what it means? Oh, all right. You guys are coming for a cuddle. I mean, I suppose I could be digging a grave for you. You never bloody know, but a little bit of patience. All right, or just half bury yourself now. That's fine. I don't mind if you're getting ahead of the track, but while I get down there, find the box for me. I'm just digging down to the level that I think it should be at. The scary thing is, though, they're like <laughs> burying myself into a hole when all the zombies that spawn are going to know how to get to me makes me a little bit nervous because I can't see what's going on at the top. I don't have DD anymore to give me a heads up when things are going badly, so I'm a little bit on edge about it, but it should be, at least it always used to be, one level above the stone. But that's like an iron mine over there. So that's not going to help me at all. Where the heck is this thing? I don't want to spend too much time down here. But oh, it's going to sap most of my life. Ooh. Got a Nancy. All right. That's fine. I'll take care of you. Maybe it's over to the left. All right. Just check the circle each time. Make sure we're going in the right direction. <laughs> ah, it's always good. Battering a zombie skull is always good. 
So I think I remember someone saying as well that each time now that the circle shrinks and gets closer where the treasure is, uh, each time that happens, it spawns a wave of zombies. Where the, remember it's what Nancy was actually. Uh, like maybe one or two or four or however many zombies to come and <laughs> stop you from digging any further. So it's no longer just the zombies spawn when you find the treasure. So I've been told. Uh, oh, speaking of treasure, there are bloody is. Excuse me. I'm hungry. Well, fortunately for you, I just found a buried food stash. So give me you right quick. Put that in your right away. That'll sort you out nicely. Take that. Don't need you. Take both of you. And last but not least, take the supplies. Come on. Up, up, up and out of the hole before they show up, please. That was a higgledy piggledy mess. But we made it out the top. Moza, go away. Moza, go away. And... I don't have a name for you. Gonna be something in there with others though, so you'll fit in with all your other friends. So I've now got the clay soil that I need for the forge. All I'm missing now is the three duct tapes, but I have some cloth fragments. So Jen should still be selling some glue, I hope. Otherwise, I can start melting down some bones at my campfire. Uh, which just needs, I got you already. You don't need like a beaker or anything, which is good because they're impossible to find. Okay. I'll do another job for Jen because I want to try and get a doubler done to make her even happier with me than she was before. But if I can crank out that, that should mean they'll get even closer to the bicycle. And at some point, what am I going to do for the horde? Do I just try and reinforce those gaps in the walls at the clock tower as much as possible and fight the horde there? Or do I want to try and let them inside the walls and then, like, try and bring them to me? Or do I just scurry about the walls and do my best? I'm not sure what the best option there is, but I'm sure whatever I decide to do is going to be the worst one. Here we go. Back again, Jenny girl. Job done by only 10.30 in the morning, actually. That is some express job doing. I know you're used to me doing things exceptionally quick and unusually quick, but this is a bit of a blinder even for me. How are you, love? Oh. What are you buying today? Good Anything job. you want to sell me. It. Love and affection, I'll happily take. 100 rounds at 9mm ammo. Although I think given my propensity to get punched in the face an awful lot, maybe some first aid bandages might be the better goer. Uh, or a book to do 10% more damage to coyotes. It doesn't apply to wolves, which I'm more likely to run into, but... Mmm, I think that's probably the way to go, right? First aid is always imperative, especially early doors. So I'll take that. And I'll also take a clear zombies quest. I was going to go the closest one for the fetch. I can the job for someone with your talents. <laughs> I'll, I'll lack thereof. A clear zombies quest week, will give I me more will give you than it would otherwise. Of the month. Um, do you have, I need glue, or more importantly, do you just have duct tape? You do. Three duct tape. It's going to cost you 200 bucks. Holy goodness gracious, that's expensive. You're not going to sell me any glue. You did just... Or you restock tomorrow, actually. That's a little disappointing, Jen. I was holding it on a very lofty level, but I've come here and you've let me down. Yeah, how dare you not stock the one thing that I need that I didn't tell you about. How bloody rude. Does have a learn an elixir, which is actually kind of tempting because more levels is going to help me level up well, faster. Duh, obviously. More XP will help me level up faster. But the more I level up, the harder the zombie's going to be, especially with the harder in-town spawns. So I'm hesitant on that one. I might just save my money for a rainy day. Because 3000 bucks for some nerdy specs would come in handy. Do I have time, Thanks for actually? Me take care of you. And Ooh, tell your friends. I didn't even bloody realize. I was going to say, do I have time to run back home and get my forge on the craft? But she sent me back to my hometown. So, all right. Jenny girl looking out for me even when I wasn't anticipating it. I'll quickly toodle on home then. Drop some stuff off, melt down some bones, and make myself some glue. Start making my forge. And then we can start making some progress. So by tomorrow, hopefully I will have at least the beginnings of my baseball bats. And once I have that instead of this knobbly piece of shit, I'll feel a whole lot better. Home sweet home. Once again, always... Ooh, there's a wolfie out there. Uh-oh. Oh, you're a big boy as well. Hold oh, no. on. Oh, the last round. Oh, God. There are direwolves in the city. 
awesome! What a wonderful, wonderful time to be alive with all of the nightmares in the world waiting in the wings. I mean, the bonus here is that you're made of steak and I quite like to put steak in my mouth and swish you around like I'm being a pretentious wine snob. You're still stuck in the walls. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're all good. I need to make sure you are reloaded with your arm. So 15 rounds and a little bit of a spike to kill a dire wolf. That does not fill me with particularly wonderful feelings. Whew. That's okay. game. That's all right, heart rate. Just come back down to a regular human being's level and try not to explode through my rib cage. Huh. Everything goes into there. It'll be fine. You can go in there too. It's just my box of all sorts of gubs at the moment. Everything can go in. Uh, I'll only stack a couple of you in there in case I find some more. Now, I need to make myself. I need some bones. And I think I need murky water, was it, to make glue? It uh, was, of which I have not many. Please make glue. Please make glue. I desperately need some. Only three. Gonna make me four, but no. Cooking pot required, you lump of jellyfish gasm. Shit. Well, that's put a bit of a hindrance in my plans. I guess I've got to do the job for Jen and just hope for the best then. I need the forge to make myself the cooking pot. Well, what a right turn up you are then. Well, nothing for it. Got to head down the old place which I used to live. Seems like Pelican Plaza was a long time ago, but it still brings back some memories to head down that little U-banger. Okay, well, so I hope wherever I'm going is going to have a kitchen of some sort so I can get myself either just some glue or some, um, well, some duct tape. But if you give me a cooking pot, that's the very bare minimum. Might help me make myself some food as well. But I suppose I can buy myself, uh, I've got my money on me. Uh, I suppose I can buy myself some duct tape if I go back to Jen after the job's done. So it's not going to be too terrible. Arlene's making her way over. Nothing in you, nothing around. All right, that's fine. I should be checking, actually, all of the trash I find. I might find some glue in a pile of gubbin somewhere. Come on. If I wanted some sticky stuff, I know they're the right one to ask, but not really what I'm after this time. Do the rolling toolboxes, actually, do you give me forged iron? No, you don't. I think I asked myself that question the other day and decided you didn't, but I had to go and double check anyway. Put you down, at least with the quests as well, like the sleep is still work like normal, which will hopefully work out in my favor. I'll grab the cobble for some base upgrades too. Hmm. I've got a bit of time. I don't have to panic just yet, but I do. Just like with the Horde of Night series, I have to be home before nighttime falls. I'm just not armed enough yet to stay out at night. I'm neither brave enough nor offensive enough. Here's the kitchen. There's no easy gimme cooking pots around the place, which is a bit upsetting. Some of them have just like a cooking pot sitting on a bench, which is bloody lovely when you're as desperate as I am. Speaking of desperate, can you kindly piss off? I know that was very loud and will bring in a lot of attention, but I can't stick my club through such small holes. For once in my life, it's actually too big. Bonds are my level up. Got a skill point to spend level six now. Uh, you, real quick. I don't know what I'm going to spend you on, but I need something. I suppose Iron Gut, actually, because I'm burning through my food and water very bloody quickly. I should have planned more ahead what I was going to spend it on, but that's always something that I need. I'm trying to take this at a reasonable rate of knots just to get it done and dusted well before I need to have it done. That thunder is so ominous out there, though. I'm never really settled because I feel like if I, if there is someone trying to beat down a fence somewhere or if the hordes outside ever do figure out where I am, I won't be able to hear them coming through the rain and the storm and, huh. I mean, it's kind of clearing outside, which is good for me. What I was just whinging about is finally starting to turn around. Yeah, I figured you were going to break, but that's okay. Stick to the more solid boards. Nothing you. Come on, where's all your glue? Where's all your duct tape? I mean, I'll, thank you for the first aid bench. It's not really what I need right now. Here's the last couple of mumps I need to kill. Put one straight through your face. May as well use the shotgun while I've got it. Have a little bit of ammo for it. Not much, but I might be able to score a double up. Ow! Or they're just going to punch me in the chin because I was trying to do something different. Stick to your clubs, Josh. You're better at it, and that's saying something. Right. 
That was, I mean, I, got, I found out first aid bandage actually, so I'll probably strap you on. That was not a particularly uh, well thought out plan by you, Josh. There's some glue though. Thank you very much. Turn that straight into dark tape. Dark tape. I'm missing cloth fragments. Hang on, hang on. I'm sure there's some around here somewhere that I can grab. Do you give me some? No, nope, never mind. Well, the next bit of cloth I find, duct tape's gonna be everywhere. Hopefully the server box gives me some good gubbins. Give me a whole motorcycle. I'm asking as much my entire 4x4 filled up, modded up, and ready to go. Ooh, repair kits though, don't mind if I do. And a mod schematic, I'll read you. Take the repair kits to repair. I was gonna repair you first, but I'll actually save that until I really need to do it because you never know when you might find a slightly better wrench. Some titty covers as well. Smack you on, keep my fantastic rack warm. And that's it. We're good. We're all good to go. Is this just the way out through there then, I suppose? Is there anything in here that I'm missing? The job is done. I feel like there's something special. If you're going to lead me out to the roof like that, is there something special around? Or just getting me excited for nothing? It's probably nothing. Well, at least I got to do a job in well, my own hometown for once, which is unusual. Normally, I'm traipsing about the countryside doing jobs everywhere other than where it matters to me. And now I get to take a different route back to Jen's. I almost said back home again, but oh, I wish I lived with Jen. Should I be so lucky? Which means there should be a different assortment of garbage on the road for me to relate to personally and then rifle through their belongings to hopefully find the last of the glue that I need. Need two more duct tapes and saving money by finding whatever I can. It's all about bargain hunting out here. Let's make this nice and quick, Jenny girl, because I'm a man on a mission. You. Oh. Don't spend it all in one place. I was going to say, you got to insult me, aren't you? But I cut you off by being competent at my job. Give me all that 762. That's really what I'm after. Yes, Bar Brawling Volume 7 would be lovely, but although it is the book that stops me getting blurry-eyed from one froth. Very tempting, but I think ammo is probably more important. So give me that. Do I have time to do another job for you? I might do, actually. to handle the tough jobs. Salon as well. So it's a different you. kind of POI. It is in the middle of town, which makes me nervous, but I can give it my redness and hottest of cracks. And it means that I can hopefully find the rest of the duct tape that I need. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try, Jen. I'm going to try. I'm running out of time. I'm going to do my best. Give me the jailbreakers. I know that from last time. I will actually need that sooner come later. Uh, and not much else. All right. That's fine. <gasps> I hear someone beating on Jen's wall. Who is out here? Who's threatening my girl? Nah, mate. Nah, bloody mates. Jen, you've got some suitors out here. I'm gonna be a jealous piece of shit. No, absolutely bloody not. Ooh, but I will take your governs. Here we go. Anything good out of the linings? Some brass, which I can sell actually, and some food and some shotgun shells. Well, real quick. Well, what I was going to do was make myself a box out here to store some things in. Oh, it's already 5 o'clock. It's already 5 o'clock. I'm really pushing the limit here. I probably shouldn't be. You, real quick, please buy those off me. Anything else to sell you? Nah, not you really. Brighten you brighten mine too, Jen. Don't you worry about that. But I want to make myself, nice and quickly, just a chest out the front to store my gubbins in. So then, you know, when I do come back to Jen's and I'm loaded down with all sorts of stuff, I can at least store it behind and not be burdened down. Hold on to that. I'll be back in a jiffy, Jen. I've been down here before. It's not too much of an ask. I am just very nervous about how little daylight is left. Being caught out here at nighttime is a death sentence. Oh, there's a sewer. I was just charging through and I saw... You know, I'll stick you up so I can see you easier next time. Interesting and tempting, but I don't have time for it today. Ooh, that could be a good fun adventure though. But that's gonna have to wait until a different rotation of the planet. I need to get inside this joint and get it done nice and quickly. God, just charging through alleys with so little line of sight on the other side always makes me anxious. Start you, tier one, fetch, g'day, g'day, how's it going? Whoever's inside, Ooh, a lab coat Lisa. Been a while since I saw you. You can come in here as well. Bring your, <laughs> your crawling buddy boy. Oh, God. Yep, they're all coming over now. See, you get brave and it's... Oh, jeez, you got to hit very quickly. No, I'm just going to nah. I'm just going to nah. I've got some ammo from Jen. I feel like this is what you wanted me to use it for. Pity I can't shoot for shit. Nor can I reload my guns. 
Josh, why? Josh, why? Why do you do this to yourself? Why do you make everything harder than it needs to bloody be? Just sort your shit out for once. Okay, they're all dead. Shotguns reloaded. Machine guns reloaded. All the things I need to survive are in play. I'm not going to get myself shish kebobbed for no reason again. Ooh, a better axe. Thank you very much. I'll take you, scrap you, and repair you with your predecessor's innards. It's like skinning a, <laughs> skinning the, the one that came before and using it to make a rug. Anyone else in here? Anyone else at all? Did you all come out and have a party in the car park with me? Because I feel like you bloody did. Anyone around? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Come one, come all. I'm just here for the gubbins. Can I get you nice and quickly? There you go. Grab you. Job done. Easy as you like. Well, he's stuck in there for the moment, so I'm going to take the opportunity. There's a bunch of sinks in here, so I can go through. Now, the game doesn't differentiate between, like, a sink in a kitchen and a sink in a hair salon, apparently, so hopefully my chances of finding a cooking pot in one of these is going to work out okay for me. Sure, I'll take that. Search the rest of these. Hmm. Luck doesn't seem to be on my side this time around. What about this last one? Nah, unlucky. Well, at least we tried actually getting the sewing kits. Oh, at least we tried and we bloody succeeded. Thank you very much. There is the last of the glues that I need. Forgy boy, here I bloody come. All right, this mission has already been a success. As long as I make it home in one piece. This is the goose who's been wailing away in here for a while. Make short work here. Um, yeah, you're splashing, doing flips and shit. That's by the main. All right. We're good. I think we're good. The crickets are chirping, though. I'm nervous about how much or how little time is left in the day. Did I miss anything out here? There was this extra room down here I didn't even look through. Some more sinks. No cooking pots in you. And no cooking pots in you. <laughs> this is going to be... I'm not going to find one for like three weeks. And as soon as I do, I'll have more of them that I know what to do with. I should have left already. I really should have left already. I need everyone on the roof here to die as quickly as possible. No one lurking around the corners. There's a vulture over there though. Line up for the dubsy. Almost got it. That's right. I was going to come and investigate my trash bin because that's what an Ibis bloody does. All right. We're good. We're good. Shock a messiah box. Some extra medical supplies. Thank you very much. Ooh. Some decent medical supplies as well. Some painkillers too, which I will need for when I <laughs> more than likely get punched in the face one too many times. It's close. It's close to being too late. I gotta skedaddle back to Jen's heck and bloody quickly. Anything in you? I'll take all of that, actually. I'll chuck that immediately into you to free up some space. What about in you? Anything good? Some toe coverings? Don't mind if I do. Although you're worse than the other ones. I can sell you at the very least. All right, anything else? Nothing else. We're good. All right, let's get out of here. Quickly check this vendo if you're working. You are not, which means ooh, you will give me iron, I think. Do I have time for this? I don't think I do. Nor do I have the stamina, nor the patience, nor the uh, integrity. Not the integrity. I always get that word wrong. Nor the durability of my wrench. So I'm just going to get out of here, leave that for another day. There's no point pushing to find forged iron now, when before tomorrow morning, I'll have the means to make my own. That's just caused myself issues for no good reason. Oh, is this where the other... Yes, 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 yes. There it is there. That's where the sewer comes out. I'll keep that in mind. Lots of... Tr Ooh, lots of trash. Lots of trash. Any potentially good? Please. I'm wasting my time by having a look through you. Um, nothing there. Search that one as well. I just want some more free glue. I'm now cucumbered. I'm not looking good at all. That might not have been a great idea. Might have to ditch some of that stuff. I definitely got greedy pushing for that last job. That was silly. That was silly. But I need to hand in the quest now to... Oh, God. I thought... I thought you were something way bigger or way scarier. Well, I don't really have time for this, so uh, apparently I do. Why do I never reload the bloody shotgun? Ever. Ever. Whenever I need you, you never have a round in you. It just, it just takes so bloody long. I feel like my brain just forgets to do it. It's like, no, you'll be fine. Do it later when you have more time and space and then just never get back to it. I'm not a clever man. That is definitely for sure. Jen, very well, quickly. Well, aren't you a psycho? Molly's pipe I... bombs are armor plating. What can I get you? Ooh, I feel like ooh, the pipe bombs do more damage. 
Oh, I feel like I'll go to the mollies. Gotta go to the mollies. I don't need any other jobs for me, but I will sell you. Free up some space. I'll sell that as well. I'll sell all of that. Bonds might skill up as well. Mm, that's gonna have to do. Oh, all of those. Thanks for the business. I'll scrap you. Safe out there. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Got the gubs outside. I'll see you again tomorrow, Jen. Hopefully, there's only a couple more jobs before you give me a bloody bar. Because at the moment, oh, I'm way down to shit as well. At the moment, it's not looking particularly great for me. I've got an hour. I've only got an hour. I have to be. Oh, jeez. The other problem is as well. Like, I have to be at the top of my clock tower and shitting myself in the corner, basically, by the time nighttime falls. But I now have to be getting a bit more adventurous with that. I have to be pushing to, like, make my forge, get my forge running, chuck it down, have it working for me, get the forge on so I can get the baseball bat, which is all things I need to do below the rooftop of that. And it's loud and will likely pull in whatever spawns in the city at nighttime. I might have a reasonable fight on my hands before too long. Like, yes, I could just go up there and build the forge in the morning, but that wouldn't get anything done. That's going to hamstring me tomorrow when I need to do more jobs for Jen to get my my, my bicycle. i got to risk it for the biscuit. i got to risk it for the mint slice. It's probably going to go pear-shaped, but as long as I survive till morning, it's going to be worthwhile. Sometimes you just got to live very dangerously. But I'm really bad at that. Please don't have spawned anything particularly bad for me because I don't really have time to get into a fist fight right now. I saw that leaf and I thought it was a dog's head sticking out of my bloody uh, wall. It's all right. That's okay. Let's get up and get in. These trees are mildly blocking my view, which is not particularly helpful for everything I've got going on. Damn it. I thought for a second I got away with it, but now it turns out no. Oh, stamina. Stamina plus. Oh, he's a, he's a froggy little boy, aren't you? There you go. Anybody else? We okay? Oh, I hear someone coming over. Yep. Yep, he's making his way. Get out there and fuck him up. Get out there and fuck him up. I don't have time to be diddling about. Shit, there's a spider over there too. Sit you down. What what the hell did I just hit? Did I hit the markings on the road? Is that what you're gonna pl uh, gonna claim game? Up you get. Missed ya. Bloody missed ya. Oh damn it! I hate spiders. I've got nothing but a club. A spider is a problem. Fuck it. We're going machine gun. I don't have time. I got five minutes. No, what? Just get back in the walls. Get back in the walls and we'll deal with it later. Oh man, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. Oh man, they're all coming in. Nighttime dropped, and now there's a lot of zombies out here who are very eager to find out what's. Oh my god, there's another spider. Just use the gun. Just use the gun. Just got ammo for it. You may as well put it to good use. Can you all please? Oh, that's a that's a soldier. I was gonna say it's a spider. It's not. It's a soldier. So is your noggin. I don't think you died from that, but I real quick need you to sit down so I can repair you. There's more coming. Too. Oh shit. There's more coming too. Oh, would you actually make a connection, please? Don't ask if you be my emotional support just to play with my club for half a second. There we go. Who else is out here? A lot. Do I sell those mollies? I do. This might be a good time for them. Light the fuse. Hold on to that. There we go. Please die quickly and quietly. Hopefully no one else is coming. Oh, I hate nighttime in the big city. How did you get inside? Piss off. I think it's just this one feral left. Which I can't really deal with because my club isn't- Oh, my club isn't strong enough, nor is my willpower. My stamina is running out. Testosterone at an all-time low. Okay, up, please. Up and just kind of have a squiz about. If there's anyone else out here for me, I think I'm okay. Reload the machine gun. Oh, man. <sighs> gotta get aggressive. You gotta get aggressive if you're ever gonna have a chance of surviving, Josh. But this isn't really what I had in mind at the time. Do I have- How much cobble do I have, actually? Not much, but I suppose it's probably a good time for me to start getting about and at least turning these things to cobble Yes, I know there's still frames at the bottom, but they focus on hitting the top parts first So if they're strong, I might stand a chance I should hopefully have some more cobble upstairs as well But I need this place to be significantly stronger if I stand any hope of fighting whatever shows up later Oh, yep. Here comes a couple more. Could you come over to I was gonna say one of the stronger sides, but there isn't really one at the moment 
I need to fix these holes. Those like little, like a rampy bits on the side, the zombies are using as ramps, go figure. Is it just you though? I think it might just be you, which is good for me. You are a feral. You just stole my experience. You spiky bitch. You little unloved porcupine fuck. Dang. A yet another reason why spikes may not have been the best idea. Because all they do, I mean, oh, look, I need the experience for my kills. I got three good speeds on that clown. And the last one was taken care of by the spiky boys. There was a one shot to the dick and you died. You must have been hung like Dwayne Johnson if that's going to put you down. Couldn't bloody miss you. Most of that thigh was actually Todger. All right. It's now late. It's very bloody late and there's more zombies about. But I need to go and get my forge on the craft. Hopefully, now I've gone on a bit of a murder spree, I can have some reprieve. It's only going to take 30 seconds, actually. So I'll get you crafting away and chuck just everything I can into the box of gubs. In you go. Got 12 mollies now, which will come in handy at some point. Can I just, like, can I just plant you on the wall somewhere and let you grow? Up you go, just like, I don't know, yep, there, that'll do. Yes, sure, okay, whatever. Free up some space and potentially get some mushies out of it. Uh, free up some space in you too. In you go. Now, what's my iron situation like? Not a lot, but some. This is the next problem I have with being up in the top of this joint, is that there's not a lot of room to maneuver and put things down. Looks a bit ridiculous, but it's going to have to work out for me. Or... Oh, that's risky, actually, because potentially it might collapse the building. Alpha 20 still has some um, interesting um, physics, to say the least. The structural stability of buildings is not particularly great. You go there. Give me my anvil. If only you were bellows, this is going to have to do. In you go. You give me a plus feed percent uh, crafting speed. I don't know why I struggled with that so much, but in you go. You go. And that one, just smelt that away for me, please. I need some forged iron post haste. I do have that skill point to spend. So I guess... Mm, wait, where's the... Is it in strength? Yeah, Master Chef. That's what I'm looking for. Because then I can make both bacon and eggs, which is the tits, but also just grilled meats. Because I'm not sure... Actually, come to think of it, now that I have the forge as well, I can just make myself a cooking pot. Uh, what do I need to... Nope, that's the wrong button. I wasn't actually in the typing field. Cook and pot. Yes, please. Just make me one of those. Because once I've got that going for me, I can grab uh, my meat. I can grab my eggs as well. And just start cranking out some goodness in there. Once done with that, I'd also like some forged iron. Please start crafting you as well. Chuck you in. My search is now over. And now watch every POI I go to give me an abundance of them. What do you mean I... Oh, hang on. There you go. Just reset yourself, because I do actually have the cooking pot, I promise. Craft you. Craft you. This may call in a screamer, but it's a sacrifice I have to at least pretend to make. Oh, man. I just need the food. Smoky is shit in here. I do have... <laughs> nice. I've got 69 cobblestone rocks in there that I can use to go and upgrade my walls downstairs. In fact, come to think of it, you... Can you make me a hammer? No, I need to find the schematic for it, or at least put some points in the minus 69 arm. Maybe that's the way to do it. Where do you get crafted? I guess in here? I suppose it doesn't tell me to go anywhere else, but that might be the next hurdle I need to surmount to uh, continue my adventure of making good gubbins. But I've got to keep focusing on doing jobs for Jen. The quicker I can get transportation, the better I will be, and the more I can open up the world. Uh, let's go to this side. So how do I get rid of these things? I'm not really sure what the right play there is. I have to like break down the entire wall because now every block exists in every material. Before, you could just upgrade the broken, uh, oh god, the broken blocks and you would get like a full block afterwards. But now, yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked on my spikes for once they're going to work for me. Perfect. But now, I think I need to break those down and remold them. That's going to be slightly annoying. Oh, Nance, come on. I just came back inside. What I should do, actually, because I do have those windows all the way up the spiral staircase. Oh, you're a feral Nance, too. I should probably go through and make, like, a platform from the inside of my tower out to the top of the walls so I can, like, reinforce the walls. Kind of like, you know, oh, for goodness sake, the outside of a castle. Can you just... Anyway, stamina back, please. I need you just to die. 
You're not quite lined up with the little hole over here, so making it a little more difficult than it needs to be. Can you stop breaking my walls, please? I just put them up. I need them to last a little bit longer than you coming over and giving them a tickle. This is like full on survivor spec. This is getting me pretty excited. Like just like immersing myself in this world. Cause yeah, like I'm hiding at the top of a tower, praying that no one finds me. This is still kind of annoying to get up to the top of, but that's all right. Just hiding up here. I've got my workstations hidden from view. You can't see the glow through any windows or anything. I feel like, I mean, yes, I am setting fire to wooden structures, but whatever, let's just ignore that for a moment. But for the most part, this is going pretty well. That's going to give me 15 forged iron. Or actually, 16. I'll take it back. I don't have any in you, do I? Mm, no. So I need to go and really focus on finding myself some forged iron then. Because I really wanted my baseball bat for tomorrow. But it doesn't look like it's going to be any sort of feasible possibility. But I do have lots of dollar redos now. So I guess tomorrow, I go back and see Jen. Do some more jobs for her. Hopefully get my bicycle and open up the world a little bit more. That's the dream. That's the bloody dream. But I now have some food. I have some forge. We're looking okay. We're looking okay. But I'm going to have to come back and continue my clock tower series. Consider reinforce this place, build it up, and make it as good of a base as I possibly can. And try not to die to the feral zombies outside in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching, most of all. Thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.